Alright, so this is going to be a video we typically don't do. This is going to be, uh, the formation is going to be 4-3 over plus, and I'm going to show you how to do the manual turbo rush. This turbo rush is going to become very popular in MUT, um, even in ranked games as well. For those of you that were familiar with the Dime 146 concept, this is right there along those. It's not as good, um, as that in the 335 was, but it is still a good blitz. Now, a lot of people are going to be running one play because that is what is posted elsewhere, and that is going to be the free safety will three. You don't need to run that play though, so I wanted to give you guys not only the heads up on what's going to become popular and what you're going to see, and you will see this concept used out of that play, but I'm going to show you how to recreate that concept in any play you choose. So you could use, for instance, cover one. You could use cover two, cover four. Per, like like I said, anything that you really want to use. And so we'll come out. We'll come out and cover two first. So the thing that you want to do to set this up is you want to base the line press. Pinch the defensive line and crash them to the left. Blitz the outside linebacker that is on the left. And then that becomes the actual setup. Now to do the actual turbo, for those of you that don't remember, on Xbox it is right trigger and left bumper. If you are in practice mode or a play now game, you actually have to hold the right analog stick down. However, that is not something you have to do online. Online, it's simply right trigger, left bumper, and you're good to go. That will turbo. So back to the setup, though. You're going to want to click on the defensive end, in this case on the right, and you want to move them in one click to the left. This is going to get you the perfect alignment to turbo directly through that B gap. And if you get picked up, the defensive tackle tends to come free. So we'll go ahead, we'll set up the turbo, and you'll see, going to come right in there, sack the quarterback. That pressure is very similar to the 4-3 under pressure that was obviously very popular. Now, you can pick this up. If your opponent is in single back, you actually want to run this flipped. So you would just flip the play. do the same exact thing except now you're going to crash your line to the right you're going to blitz the right outside linebacker and then you're gonna move the guy one click in and before we even do that let me block See, so I'm gonna go ahead that's the setup this is the goofy little fake play art and you see nothing happened don't know exactly why nothing happened. Let me try it again. Probably because I flipped the play without it being set. So I'm going to block the running back again. Move dude in one click. Like the ball. Quick turbo. So pretty much that is how it'll work. Um, Verse shotgun doesn't really matter which side you turbo from it's still gonna be very hard to pick up if they're under center you want to turbo from the left you see the running back simply can't get there in time you'll shoot through the gap get the quick sack uh, that was at a cover two so now we'll come out in a different play cover one is probably my favorite to do this concept out of once I find it. So cover one will come out in a flipped. Back out in single back. Alright. So cover one is essentially set up for you already. You just want to in this case you just want to pinch the D line, crash them to the right. Move the defensive end in one click and then set up for the turbo. That's the actual play art. That's the bluff. And you'll see, I almost came in, got picked up slightly. Ultimately, I was still able to get the sack. So, do it 
again. I'm going to re-blitz the guy. See if that has any difference. And not really. So I came through untouched and just stumbled and fell just because I felt like it. But you can see that this concept is very good. Um, unfortunately, EA was not able to patch the concept itself. They were able to patch specific formations. And we are stuck with this shenanigans again. So just wanted to give you guys the heads up on it. It's going to become popular, so might as well not only be able to do it, but also be able to adjust differently. Because, as I mentioned, the concept in which this originated, they posted strictly a cover 3 defense, and cover 3 defense is not going to win you ball games if your opponent knows how to beat it. So this gives you the same concept, any coverage shell that you want, and that's it for 4-3 over plus.